Okay, guys. Hey, next uh, video, it's all about the pH. So let's talk about that scale. Don't spend too much time on it. And I say that a lot. But you want to think of a pH as a scale between 1 and 14, right? Or 0 and 14. Actually, let's start at 0. Uh, and we really want to keep in mind that, that those numbers are not exactly what pH is. pH is the concentration, as indicated by those, those brackets, of H plus protons. At that stage, it's a proton, because a hydrogen atom has one proton, one electron. If it's H plus, it lost its electron, so now all there is left, it's a proton. So that's why we say H plus are protons. So usually we would say like protons instead of hydrogen plus atoms. So why do we say that? Because what actually those numbers between 0 and 14 mean? Those numbers mean actually the power, negative power of a scale of 10. So 10 to the power 0, 10 to the power minus 7, 10 to the power minus 14. And so what does that mean? If you remember the lab that we did uh, this week or the previous week, we talked about scientific notation. And so when you read 10 to the power minus 7, what you're reading is 0 0.7 times, right? So it's going to be a 1 here, and there will be 10 to the power 7 means that you go from here to there by 7 increments. So 1, 2 is a 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7. And so if you look at it, one, you will have to go back to the one, you will have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times to the right. That's why it's minus seven. So if that's the actual number that is equal to the concentration of H plus protons. So that means that in solution that has a pH of seven, you have 0 0.0000001 protons. What that does that mean? That means it's 1 in 10 to the power 7 over molecule. So there is a concentration of proton that's 1 in any 3, 6, 10 million molecules. So for each 10 million molecules, you have one proton. And here for each uh, proof, that's like billions and billions. But you get the idea. It's a really small concentration. Right? So the more of the, the bigger the number 14, the lower the concentration of protons. And pH is a measure of concentration of protons. Acidity is a measure of is a measure of concentration of protons. So that means that basic solution, a solution in which protons are really low in concentration, and acidic solution as a solution in which protons are really highly concentrated. Because 10 to the power of 0 it's 1. This is equal to 1. That means that they are, they are only like protons. That's all there is. Right? That's really acidic because there's a lot of H pluses. That's really basic because there's not a lot of H pluses. The key, because H pluses usually come from water, what happens is when you don't have a lot of H pluses, you actually have a lot of OH minus. This is, this, is, this is the reason why base is actually also bad, like bleach, because OH- is also disturbingly difficult to deal with for humans and life. But it's not the pH. pH is the concentration of OH, of, uh, sorry, concentration of H plus of protons. Really important to understand that those numbers indicate the power, negative power of 10. So the higher the number, the lower the concentration of H+. Plus. The lower the number, the higher the concentration of H+. Plus. Because minus 7 is you have to move 7 times to the right of the decimal place to find the number, right? So that's why it's such a small number of H pluses when you have 7, but high because it's a 1 here. Yeah. Okay, so with that, I hope you can wrestle with the idea of pH. It can be confusing, but you can also remember that the highest number, the 
higher the pH, the less acidic the solution, the more basic, right? But pH is the definition is it's a measure of a concentration of protons. And the higher is the number, the lower is the concentration. Right? So that's it. You can look at the scale, get a familiar with all those different things, but I just wanted to get that point across, which is extremely important to understand pH. I'll see you next time. Take care.